withdrew money which I have earned. I have paid tax on it. You gave me thousand rupee notes. Now you expect me to stand in a freaking line to change that? Then you said two thousand five hundred rupees. You look. You think I'm a bloody beggar? I'm not. All decisions, as far as politicians are concerned, we are willing to support. We are democratic country. We are supposed to follow the fool, which is what we've done since Mahatma Gandhi. Thirty-three people have died standing in your lines. Who's accountable for their deaths? Why the hell support a man that's sitting there pretending to be holier than thou, showing pictures of his mother standing in? In concept, it is brilliant what he's tried to do, but in execution, have we thought it through? Have we thought about the steps? and how we are going to do the damage control of what has been done that is the real ideation that we need to bring to the plate of, now of uh, 1.25 billion people we need to understand that one man's meat is always going to be another man's poison right so i'm hoping it's a step in the right direction it's a, it is definitely a step in the right direction execution might look bad but i don't think it would have been better yes. it had to be what about the impact on the mental health of all the 1.2 billion people that it is happening 501000 may may i ask which jackass allowed this to happen the seventh largest economy of of the world cannot take decisions overnight and this was basically done to get political mileage i'm sorry to say the banking system has failed us time and again are we going to trust all the whole economy to the banking system no so i'm sorry to say this was not a well thought of plan this is not a well executed plan execution is a different thing the concept itself is wrong are we sorry. saying that like india is in that phase of becoming the biggest economy when we have the same issues going on in india what was happening in us in the 1960s and the 1970s so we'll take it from there if you if you realize in the last few days the stone pelting has stopped the demonstrations have stopped the naxalite activities have stopped but then once we move towards a cashless economy this whole thing all the cash will come into the system and probably and i do hope probably the the whole economy will pick up and india will be something very different so has anybody seen any politician standing in the queue and depositing that money so what are we talking about where is the impact the impact is on the on 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 aam aadmi not kejriwal's aam aadmi but actual aam aadmi the poor guy is standing for 2 to 3 hours or 5 hours in a queue oh so, can i answer that can i answer that i will answer that